morning, what you got is your water. Your water tray is on the bottom. We're going to take this little drain tube out of the water and we're going to hook it right up into the receiving unit for the water bottle. All this water has to get dumped out. This is going to prevent a lot of the slush from growing into the water. We're going to fill it up with cold water. Usually either it's on top of the machine or it's on one of these bottles. It's a cap for the water bottle. Just screw the cap on. And you're going to flip this water bottle into the receiving tray so that the water label faces out. Now close this door and then turn the main power on on the right side of the machine. And this thing will go through its own startup procedure. It'll clean itself. It's going to heat any chemistry or chemicals that are in there and basically do its own thing. While that's warming up, we got to get this computer system started up. So you're going to turn the main power on the computer on. That'll go through its starter procedure. Once it starts up, we're going to start up the software on the left side of the machine. It's the SDP RIP. Double click back. And it has a welcome screen. All you got to do is click on OK. And we have to make sure that there's a green arrow flashing in the upper left part of the upper right part of the screen. If your green arrow isn't on, all you'll need to do is click on the green arrow on, on the upper left part of the screen. And you'll see that the arrow flashes green. And then from there, we're going to go to the output option and down to the output controller. We're going to take a look at the output controller. We want to make sure before we do anything that the disable output option is checked off. And now this this RIP is ready to accept our jobs. We're going to do stuff on the overhead now to send our file from your computer into uh, in, into the RIP software.